All right, so here's the deal. I've had this motor for 15 years. It's a Honda. Um, can't even tell you where I bought it from, but I can tell you it's always started on the first pull. It's always mowed the lawn, but I'm very picky about my lawn, so I got so tired of having to cut my grass twice, and I figured that there's got to be a better way to do this other than have to mow your yard twice in the highest setting. I think it's at four and a half inches right now is the highest setting, and every time I mow my St. Augustine grass, it leaves strands of grass behind. I'm out there picking them with my hand, and it just drives me crazy. So I went online, like most people do, and went to try to find a YouTube video where somebody compares a Toro and Honda, basically a $400 mower that you can get at Home Depot currently. The Toro I purchased uh, was $378, I believe, and this Honda was $408. So I figured, uh, why not just purchase them both, bring them home, unbox them, assemble them, and do a video on how well they mow the yard side by side on the same yard on the same day. And hopefully, uh, maybe that will um, help somebody that's in my same situation saying, well, I guess it's just the nature of a, of a self propelled mower. I have to mow my yard twice. But it shouldn't be that way. I would think 15 year your newer technology should enable these mowers to maybe be able to mow your yard on the highest setting the first time. I know the Toro is a, a single blade. This is a multi-blade, much like my 15-year-old mower is. So it has two blades. I've sharpened the blade. I've bought new blades. I've changed the, the bend on the blade you know, by heating it up and bending it more to create more vacuum. I've even sped the governor. I've done everything that's mower other than put nitrous oxide on the thing to make it faster. So, and I don't want to do that because I know it's just going to blow it up. But the point is, is that for $400, you know, Home Depot current models, I'm not an electric guy. Electrics for trolling motors, I think, but maybe someday I'll buy an electric motor. But right now I'm a gasoline, combustible engine kind of guy. So I'm going to put these motors together. I'll be right back and we'll give it a test. The Toyota prides herself on not needing any oil changes ever. So, has zero oil in it right now. There are definitely some details that I see the Honda has that the Toro does not have. And that may attribute to the fact that it's a $30 more mower. Um, one of the nice details I really like is, is the fact that this one adjustment, you know, so if you turn, pull this handle out, it adjusts both the wheels front and back. So I had to fight with a little bit. It takes a little longer to get the high setting that you want. It's easier for you to get the Toro crooked because you can get a setting on one side, on one notch, and not the same. So you really have to be conscious that the mower's uh, sitting flat. Um, I noticed that the Toro, when I unboxed it, the handle is a little more difficult. The, the Honda has just this release to put the handle in whatever position you want. 
and it also has the uh, tag showing to put the entire contents. I had to read the manual of the Toro to, you know, to uh, explain how much oil to put in it. Great. All right, now that I got fuel in both of them, I did notice that the, the Honda has a clicking gas uh, cap and the Toro, it just has a locking, you know, I mean, it stops. The, uh, the other difference that I noticed was the, the Honda has an actual fuel shut off and the, the mulching and bag director is a nice smooth handle. The Toro uses this blue device here. They probably both work function very well to close the door. And I noticed the Toro has a side discharge that the Honda does not have. So, all right, now I got fuel on both of them. We're going to see if they start on the first pull. that this this Honda is very much like my old one and the throttle I mean the uh, the control the speed control and it is adjustable you can adjust the position of it so if you don't want to use your knee your your thumbs you can uh, put in your palm and uh, Toro is going to take some getting used to because you push this forward to uh, to make it go forward so well uh, now that I've got them fired up I've got them both at the same height um, the yard's not quite as high as it normally is. Usually I mow the yard on, on Saturday and this, today's Thursday. So, uh, but it'll still show me side by side which one's a better mower in my opinion. as heavy and this control you have here being that it's adjustable it's just a lot better system in my opinion this one when you go to start it if, if you're pushing forward here if you're going uphill or something and you go to start it this thing's already in the forward position when, you, when, it, when the engine starts to run this one you have a lot more control um, obviously the Honda doesn't have a side discharge but the fact that you can stow this one away a lot easier just by you know pulling this put, putting this in that position the handle will flip over that one you have to unbolt and unscrew $30 difference for me I'm gonna go with a Honda all day long it's got a solid shaft adjusting the height like I explained before it's just one simple you know release on the front and back this to me is something that's been around since the 60s you know this is something my you know my father used on his old push mower so um, other than that you know, they both have the mulching selector you know very similar in ways the trap door uh, I didn't bag I didn't use the bag so I don't know I never use a bag so I only use a mulching blade I know when this one needs a blade to replace this double I think it's $30 versus $15 for a single blade this is a 22 inch cut this one's a 21 inch 170 cc 163 cc at the end of the day this is just feels like it's a heavier duty mower that mower is 15 years old very similar to this in a lot of ways i feel like this mower this honda mower is going to be the mower that's uh, choice and it's going to be you know the mower i'm going to keep for the next 15 years so uh, but thanks everybody for watching if you have any questions hit the link below and i'll do my best to answer any questions i get paid by honda i get paid by toro this is just an independent
independent test that I felt like I needed to do, you know, to hopefully save a person from buying the wrong mower. So thanks everybody. Have a great day and uh, everybody be safe.